What's up, everybody? Mike Wienenbach tackling Masterone, the very, very popular steroid. Um, the reason I made this, I didn't want to make this video in the first place, but the reason I made it is because of the odyssey I witnessed of a client of mine going through TRT. And I don't want to sound like Bernie Sanders, but our medical system sucks. So anyway, this guy gets diagnosed with low T. He goes to the first place they give him oral test, method test, shut his liver, and so on and so forth. He goes to the next place, they put him on SOST, on Anavar, everything that sticks to the wall. So at some point, you know, he's not a heavy guy, he's like 150, they put him on 500 mix of SOST, his T levels go to 2200, and then he goes finally to a guy who can read and write, a doctor that is, and the guy says, I'm putting you on 250 test and and 200 masteron because his estradiol was high. So what does that mean and what is masteron and who needs it and who should use it? So I'm choosing my words very, very carefully. It is a relatively safe steroid. It was invented or developed to treat breast cancer in conjunction with the serum because it is an anti-estrogen, anti-E. So it does not metastasize, therefore has fewer side effects. The anabolic androgenic reading is rather low. It's about 120 to 40. So that doesn't mean it's harmless, but because of its anti-E properties, it dries you out. So somebody who is under 10% body fat will look a lot leaner. It's a derivative of uh, dehydrotestosterone, just like Anavar, Primbolin, Winstrol. You get the idea. So there's two esters, propionate and acetate. Propionate being more popular in a cut stack, usually with testosterone and trenbolone. Like I said, it dries people out really well. And if used by itself or with a mild test base, the side effects are, of course, shutdown, oily skin, hair loss. Some issues with LDL can occur. Check your heart. It's not liver toxic, but it's relatively safe. So weight gain, obviously, is minimal. It's not a broken steroid. It's a cutting steroid. And like I said, it's, more, it's used to leading up to a contest. That's it. We should all use it, right? And that's exactly the reason why I didn't want to make this video. Because we have gone from a training culture to a drug culture. And I don't want to sound moralizing. Like, I have been around, like, probably before you guys were born. I mean, I, I remember the days when we got real Eastern Bloc steroids in the early 90s when things over there fell apart. But there was more an emphasis on training and dieting as opposed to let steroids cover up my bad behavior inside and outside the gym. I don't know about you guys, but some of the gyms I've been to look like a Starbucks with weights. People sitting on their cell phones diddling. No amount of master on trenbolone growth insulin will make you a good bodybuilder if you train like this. And if you have the greatest pre post intra worker drinks ever but pizza for lunch, it's also not gonna matter. So that said, Masterone is probably in the category of Primbola in terms of side effects, it's relatively safe, but it's still a steroid, and there is a price to pay. It might not be in your 20s, it can be in your 40s. Half the guys that I idolized growing up are dead, okay? I'm just pointing this out. So what you do with the information is up to you. As I said, cliff notes. If you're lean, it helps you look in a bit harder. It's anti-E, it dries you out. Uh, the side effects are mainly hair, obviously shut down, Acne, not so much in terms of uh, LDL, heart. So it's, it's not trenbolone, also in terms of side effects. It's you know, because the engine rating is lower, but it's also not harmless. And it should not be used to make up for getting wings and Lady M cake. Okay? So that's my take on Mastron. Like I said, it's a quality steroid if used wisely. It can put somebody from 
really, really good conditioning into great conditioning. But if you are a 30 BMI hippo, it's not going to help you either. My God. <laughs> <laughs>